From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your weather tonight. A warm, muggy overnight ahead with temperatures mainly into the lower 70s for the next several hours, dropping toward the upper 60s toward daybreak for a morning low. But most of us here not doing that for several hours still, and a few of us could actually stay above 70 degrees for a morning low. A few isolated to widely scattered showers or thunderstorms possible after midnight here toward the early morning hours. Don't think they're going to be too widespread, though, but we'll watch that. The main storm risk comes up for our overnight Wednesday night. There is a flood watch that's in effect. It starts at 1 a.m. here overnight tonight, so just after midnight, goes all the way through Wednesday, Wednesday night. It expires at 7 a.m. on Thursday morning. It includes Wayne County, Lawrence County, Giles County, Lewis, Murray, and Marshall counties in Middle Tennessee in our viewing area here, the light shade of green counties, as of the time I'm recording this for our Tuesday evening. However, later into the overnight or early Wednesday morning, during the overnight hours, a few more counties could be added in the viewing area. If that happens, we will have that posted on social media for you. But there is an increasing risk for some flooding and flash flooding here as we hit, especially into the overnight hours of Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Here's how the severe storm risk breaks down. Now, I'm not using the Storm Prediction Center risk because they will update this overnight and through the early morning hours tomorrow, but this is in agreement with it. Elevated risk of strong to severe thunderstorms Wednesday overnight over southern middle Tennessee here. They have a level three out of five risk, and we agree with that. In the red shaded region to the north of our area, it's also still a level three out of five. However, we're using that red shaded area to show where the higher tornado threat is going to be, which is north of our area. And there could actually be a few strong tornadoes up there in northern Tennessee, up through Kentucky, and then the Ohio Valley. Again, that's north of our viewing area. Does not mean that some bit of a tornado threat isn't in place across southern middle Tennessee, north Alabama, northeast Mississippi. It is. However, it's not as high of a tornado threat in the orange and yellow shaded areas as it is in the red shaded areas farther to the north. Here's how the threats break down in our part of southern middle Tennessee, northwest Alabama, and northeast Mississippi. Damaging wind gusts to 50, 60, 70 miles per hour and flash flooding potential are the main risks in our 14 viewing area counties. However, there very well could be a few isolated spin-up tornadoes in addition to a few storms tomorrow night producing some quarter to half dollar size hail. Again, this is going to be for that overnight Wednesday night through pre-dawn Thursday round. Here's the future cast here starting tonight and going through Thursday morning. And I'm going to caution you, there are a couple different periods where a future cast may not be handling things perfectly. And we'll talk about that as we go through. Evening storms moving on out from the early evening. Partly cloudy skies overnight. Temperatures in the 70s here at 10 p.m. Upper 60s and lower 70s are morning lows across the area. And then this is one of the two periods where things may not be handling on this future cast model exactly right. At daybreak, it has things quiet across our area. However, some other models show some scattered showers and thunderstorms over southern middle Tennessee, a few of them in northwest Alabama that would have some heavy rain, lightning, some pea-sized hail, and maybe some 30, 40 mile per hour wind gusts. This model isn't showing that, but other a few other reliable models are. So even though it's not on this map, a few of those scattered storms like that could be across our area in the early morning hours, shifting north by late morning in the midday, then we're partly cloudy into the afternoon, daytime highs in the mid to upper 80s, spotty chance of an isolated thunderstorm in the afternoon to early evening. It's after 9 or 10 p.m. when we really start watching to the northwest for a line of thunderstorms moving into the area late evening into the overnight and the pre-dawn hours of Thursday morning. This is where we have that organized severe storm risk Again, with the main threats, damaging straight line winds of 50 to 70 miles per hour, flash flooding as the primary threats, and then a secondary threat, secondary level threat below that of maybe a few spin up tornadoes and maybe some hail involved. And then this is the other part where future cast is a little questionable, and this may not be exactly right. Futurecast showing another line of heavy thunderstorms that probably won't have the wind damage threat. It would probably be small hail, 30, 40, 50 mile per hour winds, 
Sahemi rain and lightning, if this is right, coming through around daybreak just ahead of the cold front. However, that first line it shows would really rain cool the atmosphere. So I'm not sure this is going to be here, but this could extend heavy rain on in through the early to mid morning hours through 6 to 9 a.m. We'll see how that works out, but I did want to show that in case that is the solution that verifies, but kind of give that caveat that it may not be handling things correctly. Sunshine returns for Thursday afternoon. We get back to the upper 70s, lower 80s. As the cold front moves through, it brings cooler air Thursday night beginning there, and then all in the Friday and the weekend. And we have daytime highs into the 70s coming over the weekend, starting as early as Friday here, low to mid 70s, Friday through the Mother's Day weekend. Overnight lows in the lower 50s, if not the upper 40s in a few spots there over the weekend. Mother's Day weekend shakes out like this. There is about a 10% chance of a shower or a stray thunderstorm Saturday night in through Sunday that you don't see on the graphic here because it's so low of a threat. Otherwise, partly cloudy skies each day over the Mother Day's, Mother's Day weekend with daytime highs up into the low to mid 70s. Your overnight forecast for tonight, showers and thunderstorms, still a chance of them, especially after midnight toward daybreak, like we were talking about. Some of that rainfall could be locally heavy if those storms do develop, but they would be very scattered in nature. Morning lows in the upper 60s to lower 70s. If those morning storms are there, they shift north of the area toward late morning, maybe a spotty midday or afternoon storm, but most of us probably mainly drive for the daytime hours of the midday and afternoon. It's the overnight period, Wednesday night after 9 or 10 p.m. and through the late overnight, early morning hours of Thursday when we're watching for the strong to severe storms like we talked about, damaging winds of 50, 60, 70 miles per hour and flash flooding are the main threats. However, a few tornadoes could be involved of the spin-up variety, and there could be some hail involved as well. Those storms taper off Thursday morning, back to partly cloudy skies Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Slightest, slightest chance of a shower, a thunder shower, Saturday night into Sunday, partly cloudy skies Monday. A few more isolated thunderstorms toward Tuesday of next week. There's some related seven-day forecast. Ben Luna's in the Weather Center at 4 a.m. with your wake-up weather forecast.